Hey, it's me, Booty Quake, and I'm so excited that you're here. Let's take a quick tour so you can start using the app easily right away. First up is the training plan area. There's a description with some helpful instructions and you'll see all of your workouts that are in your plan. Next up is your calendar. Depending on the plan you're on, it might have workouts pre-scheduled or you might have a blank slate. Let's add a workout. I'll show you a couple of ways to do it. Tap on that plus sign, choose your dates, select your workout, and boom, scheduled all your derby practices in 10 seconds. Or find the workout in your training plan list and then add it from there. As you can see, you can also add cardio. So use this for running or biking, etc., and use general for anything not on the list. Now let's talk about rescheduling. Let's open one of those workouts, tap the three dots, and then we can delete or move it. Remember, depending on which plan you're on, you might not be able to delete or move workouts that are pre-scheduled for you. But if you added it, like derby practice, then you can always adjust it. On to the workouts themselves. If you just want to log it as complete, like derby practice, then use the check in button to give yourself this awesome and satisfying virtual high five. If you prefer the gratification of filling in boxes with sets and reps, then use the track button and that will also track your personal bests over time so that you can continue challenging yourself. For all interval workouts, you'll want to use the track button because it will start the timer for you and it'll speak to you in a robot voice from the future. RDA high knees. One last tip, I highly recommend you familiarize yourself with all of the exercises in your workout before you get started. I promise this will save you time in the end, and after a while you'll get to know the exercises and this will go a lot faster. I cannot wait for you to get started, so let's do this.